Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. This is Unité 7, Leçon F. And in this lesson, we'll see a really, really important thing. And it's le conditionnel présent. So basically, the conditionnel is, as in English, this conditional form. So would, could, okay? But of course, as in English, we've got different tenses for that. And the first one that we will see, so the more classic tense that we us usually use, sorry, when we talk about the conditionnel, it's the present form. Okay, so let's start now. Le conditionnel présent. So in this lesson, we'll see first la formation, so the way to build it, to make it, and then, of course, l'emploi, so when you should use this conditionnel présent form. Okay, so let's first start, if that's okay with you, with the formation, the way to make it. So you'll see that it's quite easy in a way. And normally that's the reason why we introduce it right after the future tense. So if you didn't see the video regarding the future tense, I definitely advise you to do it because uh, it will be more clear for you. So it's unit six. I don't remember the lesson, but check unit six, unit six, sorry, and then le futur and you'll find it. Okay. Because the way we construct this conditionnel présent is the same way that we construct the future, okay? The only difference will be the endings, all right? So let's take the first example that we've got here. Parler belongs to the first group of verbs. Remember, we've got three in French. And the first group of verb is ending with a air, like here, okay? So these verbs are regular. So that's a good news, and normally that's the reason why we start with them. Uh, so you don't have to change your verb. So parler is like that. You will keep it like that. And based on this form, after that, you will add the endings. Okay? And for je, the ending will be a, e, s. Okay? So you don't need to modify your infinitive form, the basic form, is like that, it goes there, and right after, you just add the ending AIS, and you get je parlerai. All right, so it's quite simple. Second group, so verbs ending with ER, be careful, not all the verbs ending with ER, but a quite decent amount of them <laughs> belongs to the second group, but then still. It will be quite easy because it is exactly the same way. You don't modify your infinitive form. You just keep it like that, all right? And after that, you add your ending. Je finirai. So, A, I, S. Je finirai. All right? So, it's quite easy. You keep your basic form, your infinitive form, and right after, you just put the ending. Okay, for the third group of verbs, so of course we will have some exceptions, so we'll see that a bit later in this lesson, but still, the main rule is if it's ending like lire, lire to read, okay, uh, with this e, uh, well, the idea is that you will take this e uh away, as we quite usually do in French, okay, and after that you will add your ending. Je lirai. All right? So the rule goes like, if you've got final E, uh, then you take it away. You've got your form here, L-I-R, and then you add your ending, A-I-S, je lirai. Okay? So you've got three forms here, and they're actually the, well, conditional présent forms. Je parlerai, je finirai, je lirai. Okay. Parler is to talk or to speak, finir, to finish or to end, lire, to read. Okay, so the endings now. So we saw that previously that, well, the ending for je will be, whoops, sorry, the ending for je will be a, i, s. Okay, the ending for tu will be, well, the same, a, i, s. The ending for il, elle will be, a, I, T. Okay? The good news 
is that even if we write them differently, like you see here, we pronounce them the same way. And it goes like E, E, E. All right? So as usual in French, what you pronounce, well, it's not that difficult in a way, but then remember how to write them. A, I, S for je, A, I, S for tu, A, I, T for il, elle. So now let's see nous. And nous goes like E, O, N, S. Okay? And it should be pronounced ion. Remember, final S is not pronounced. Ion. Okay? Then for vous, it goes like I, E, Z. And it goes like ye. Okay? Remember when you get this E before, it goes like ye, ye, ye. Okay? Ye. So that's the reason why we had this ion here and then ye. All right. And the last one. So even if it looks <laughs> scary because you've got three vowels here and then NT, okay? R E E N T. So as usual, that's the way you should write it, but then phonetically the good news is that you pronounce it E. So the the same way that we had here E E here E and then E. Okay? So let's pronounce them E E E Yon, ye, e. So if you look carefully, you've got only three phonetical pronunciation. The first one is here and here. It's the same. So it's e. After that, we've got this yon, and after that, after that, we've got this ye. All right. So let's see now for parler. Parler is to speak or to talk. Okay. So je parlerai. Tu parlerais, il parlerait, elle parlerait, nous parlerions, vous parleriez, il parlerait, elle parlerait. Second example, choisir from the second group of verbs, choisir is to choose. Je choisirais, tu choisirais, il choisirait, elle choisirait, nous choisirions. Vous choisiriez, il choisirait, elle choisirait. Okay, not that difficult. And the last example, so for the third group, it's écrire. Écrire is to write, okay? So same rule, if you remember, the example was with lire to read, but then it's exactly the same rule. So if you look carefully, it's ending with the, this E, uh, okay? So you take it away, and after that you put the ending. J'écrirai. Tu écrirais, il écrirait, elle écrirait, nous écririons, vous écririez, ils écriraient, elles écriraient. All right, so it's not that difficult anyway. But of course, we've got some exceptions, as I said in the beginning. So the, the, the idea for these exceptions is that the, the, the word, or sorry, the verb will change. So endings will be the same, so that's one good news. So all the endings that we saw previously, well, they will be the same, but then you get to remember the way the verb will change. So if you saw, that's the reason why I, I spoke about the future uh, lesson. If you saw the future lesson and you remember the way these verbs are changing for the future, the good news is that they will be changing the same way. So être will become sœur. All right? And then after that, you will have to put the endings. Je serai. All right? So you will keep this sœur all the time for your conjugation. And after that, you will add all the endings that we saw. Okay? Avoir will become or. Same thing here. After that, you will add all the endings. So, tu aurais. Aller will become ir. And you'll get il irait, elle irait. Faire will become fur. Nous ferions. Savoir will become sort. Vous sauriez. Voir will become ver. Il verrait, elle 
verrai. Ok, so let's see them one more time. So, être, to be, je serai. Avoir, to have, tu aurais. Aller, to go, il irait, elle irait. Faire, to do, nous ferions. Savoir, to know, vous sauriez. Voir, to see, il verrait, elle verrait. All right, so one more list of exceptions. Pouvoir will become pour. Je pourrais. Vouloir will become voudre. Tu voudrais. Pleuvoir will become pleuvre. Il pleuvrait. Devoir will become d'œuvre. Nous devrions. Venir will become viendre. Vous viendriez. Courir will become cour. Il courrait, elle courrait. All right, so let's see them one more time. Pouvoir can. Je pourrais. Vouloir to want. Tu voudrais. Pleuvoir to rain. Il pleuvrait. Devoir to have to. Nous devrions venir to come, vous viendriez courir to run, il courrait, elle courrait. All right. So it was the first thing regarding the conditionnel présent, and then as I said regarding the, the the fact that it's quite close to the future. So the important thing is to remember that. The endings for the future are AI, AS, A, ONS, EZ, ONT. Okay, but then for the conditionnel présent, if you remember them, it was AIS, AIS, AIT, IONS, IEZ, AIENT. So to be totally honest, if you think about that, because basically we construct these two tenses the same way, okay? So the endings here and here will be the only way to make the difference between the future and the conditional. So it's quite important to really remember them uh, by heart, okay? So remember, future, a i a s a. O N S E Z O N T, but then conditionnel présent A I S A I S A I T I O N S I E Z A I E N T. Okay, and now let's see when we should use this conditionnel présent because that's the most important thing. The first situation would be to express a desire or a wish. Exprimer un désir ou un souhait. Okay. J'aimerais être en vacances. Aimer, to like or to love. Okay. And here you get the conditional form. Être, to be, en vacances, on vacation, holidays. J'aimerais être en vacances. The second use will be if you want to donner un conseil, to give an advice. Vous devriez apprendre le français. Okay, devoir to have to, but then in that case, when you say vous devriez, you should. Uh, that would be the more correct translation. Vous devriez apprendre, apprendre is to learn, le français, French. And then if you want to ask something politely, that's the tense you should definitely use. And especially if you go in a coffee restaurant or if you go in a shop and you you want to ask some for something then use this conditional form i mean trust me it's quite important okay je voudrais un café s'il vous plaît okay je voudrais un café s'il vous plaît okay so let's read them one more time j'aimerais être en vacances vous devriez apprendre le français je voudrais un café s'il vous plaît Another use of this conditionnel présent is, is if you want to construct a sentence 
like in English, for instance, with this if. Okay, so if in French is si. And then the rule is quite strict in French. If you start with this if, si, then it should be followed by the imparfait form. We didn't see this form yet. It will come in the next lesson or in the next unit, sorry. So no stress about that. It's just an example, but it's just, just for you to know that if you want to construct this if structure, then it should be followed by imparfait. Then comes le conditionnel. Okay, so let's take one example. Si j'avais le temps, je ferais du sport. Okay, so si j'avais le temps, so if I had, it's the same in English, uh, you, 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 put, uh, you put this, I had. Si j'avais le temps, so time, je ferais, remember it was faire, to do, but then at the conditional form, du sport. Okay, another example. Si j'étais riche, so riche, rich, était, it's to be, remember, je voyagerais, voyager is to travel, autour du monde, around the world. Oops. <laughs> And then the last one. Si elle était là, so être, to be, là, here, nous irions, so remember it was to go, aller, and it becomes ir, irions, nous promener. Okay, so se promener, to have a walk. Okay, that's it. I hope it was clear. Have a great day. The YouTube channel is here and the website is here and it's waiting for you. Bye bye.